Hey guys, Natalie here. So I wanted to show you something that uh, I stumbled upon um, yesterday. It's really super exciting uh, for anybody that boosts posts using your fan page. You guys need to check this out. Okay, so you're probably all aware of your um, ads manager. Now, this is something that you have to use only on the desktop version of Facebook. And it can only be used through Google Chrome. So you have to use the Google Chrome browser, okay? Um, if you try to Firefox or, or um, Explorer or anything like that, it's not going to work. It has to be through Google Chrome. So let's just be clear on that. Um, now this is a newer rollout. So probably if you're like me, you might not have heard of this before and what it's called is power editor. Okay. So I'm showing you guys on my um, desktop. Oop, let's fix this on my desktop. Okay. It's called power editor. So what you want to do is you want to go into your ads manager, right? And this is on your Facebook using your Facebook business page or fan page, whatever you call it, okay? Uh, so you go into your ads manager and you'll see along the top here, it says power editor, okay? Um, so you can click on your power editor and create ads within your power editor, okay? Um, I think I already have one open and it's just gonna take forever to load. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, so you can you can see how much average clicks are costing you. You can see how much um, impressions you're getting on your advertisements. Um, so like this one, I reached 13,000 people and I've got 14,000 impressions. So that was a really good, um, with 2,000 actual clicks. The cost per engagement was only one cent. So you can see a lot of information within this um, power editor. You can also um, create your ads in here. Uh, and I would definitely suggest doing that from now on if you're paying to boost your post. Okay. Um, so if you create your ad, uh, what you can do, so say you've created your ad, you do it just exactly the same way. You can even boost a post and then come into here and check all this information out. It's all in here, all my boosted posts since I started out my fan page. Now I want to show you guys a really neat tool. So say you've boosted your post, okay? Um, what you want to make sure you do is you hop on to here, you hop onto your Google Chrome, you go to your ads manager, and you can see all my active ads here. These are all my boosted posts or um, advertisements I'm paying for right now that are active. Okay, so um, if you want, you want to boost your post or um, create your post, however you want to do it. Oops. And you can go into your edit campaign, which is right in here. Okay, so this is very important. This is why I'm shooting this video right here because it's pretty crazy. Ah, <sighs> okay. So here is what I've paid for. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into um, this pencil right here. Now, here is some magical stuff. Sorry, my um, tripod's screwy, so it's all shaky. Now, you can add, this is where you change your audience, and this is what you need to make sure you're doing to get the highest amount of people that you want to see your, your business, okay, or your advertisement. So you change your age, right? So I have my age. You make it so that, uh, you know, your demographic is narrowed down. Obviously, I'm with makeup, so I only want women. You can put in your language if you want, interests. Now, here is where something crazy, crazy, crazy happens, okay? So you can put in your, your interests, you can put in your, your business and in, industry, entertainment, and really narrow it down so that you're having people that are interested. Now look at this behaviors. I'll show you something right here. You can click on browse and all of a sudden you can narrow it down by people that are paying on Facebook. Facebook. You can narrow it down so that only event creators so, um, see it. So the people that pay on Facebook, 
you can narrow it down so that you can narrow get the people that are going to view your ads are Facebook page admins. Again, if you're running um, social media businesses, that is a huge one. You want people that are active on Facebook. Um, small business owners, again, that would be something that I would be interested in people seeing. Um, lots of stuff. Photo uploaders, like I want people that are, are in Facebook, playing on Facebook, uploading pictures. Those are my kind of people and I want to narrow my, my audience down to that. So now I'm getting less people see my um, things on a daily. So you can see I'm only getting 180 to 470 people on Facebook but they're people that I want to view my stuff. There's more categories down here, guys. Um, Facebook categories. There's connection types. So people that uh, like your page, people that friends of friends, people that exclude people that like your page. It's pretty crazy. Um, people are going to your event, so you can, you can advertise events and stuff, right? Um, and narrow your budget down. Um, but how amazing is that to be able to narrow down specific behaviors within, um, I mean, you could even go to more demographics. I hope you guys are seeing this. Look at this. Watch. Parents. I could pick and target people that are parents of toddlers, parents of newborns. Um, so that those people, and look, I'm, I'm narrowing it down, but I want makeup loving moms. That, those are my people. So that's how I've narrowed it down to makeup loving moms who upload pictures, who play on Facebook. Um, so I'm going to pay less because it's, I'm targeting, targeting a very small specific, uh, person. Um, so less random people that are not interested are clicking on my stuff and I'm paying for it. So now it's going to be very specific to my post. So I hope that helps guys. If you have any questions, please comment or send me a message on Facebook. Um, I'm here to help you guys and, uh, yeah, so take care. Have a great day. Bye.